I think I know what's in here. I might know what's in here. You wanna find out what's in here? Let's take a look. What's up guys, it's your boy Manny here with OMR One More Review. Today we got something nice in the mail. This is from Polar Pro, the Light Chaser Pro, the 12 Pro Max case. This case is amazing. I got the film making kit here. We're gonna go dive into it, take a look at it, see what it has, see what it comes with, and we're gonna see if it's actually worth buying. For now, take a look at this video that I filmed using the iPhone and using the filters it comes with. Check it out. All right guys, and before we get into it, if you're new to this channel, drop a comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, it would be much appreciated. So what do you think? Tell me that wasn't a nice video. That came out amazing, and it was all thanks to the Light Chaser Pro for the 12 Pro Max. This is a whole filmmaking kit. This is gonna elevate your iPhone game, your camera game, whatever you wanna call it. This little kid right here, it does wonders. You got the 12 Pro Max that has the best camera that Apple has to offer. It's got the biggest sensor, the best of the best on here. And then you combine this with this case. I mean, man, you have a great combination to make some amazing videos and take some amazing pictures. This kit here comes with a bunch of goodies. So let me start going over them with you. It comes with a circular polarizer in this little cool case. It comes with a variable ND filter, three to five stops, which I think is awesome. Then you get the grip, so you can one hand grip this thing, it makes it so much easier to hold your phone and to take videos and to hold it for stabilization. It's awesome. I opted in, doesn't come with the filmmaking kit, but you can order it separately for the shutter button, the Bluetooth shutter button. So that way I don't have to be trying to reach over with my thumb or with my other hand to try to hit that shutter. I just connect it via Bluetooth and you're good to go. And of course it comes with this super slick case. The case is super thin. It fits on the iPhone really nice, very lightweight, but at the same time kind of rugged, protects the cameras pretty well. The one cool thing that I like about this case is, yes, it does work with MagSafe. So if you have the MagSafe wallet, your MagSafe charger, it does work, it holds on there, it doesn't come up. You see it and it comes out, you get the little animation. So it works perfectly good with the wallet, with the charger, any of your MagSafe accessories, which is awesome. Also wirelessly charging without a problem, I've used it, it works great. Um, and the cool thing about this is, here's a little grip, here's the case, you go ahead and you just clip that on there and you are good to go. This is how you would hold it, you got the shutter button right here, so it's just easy to maneuver, easy to record, to take pictures, super nice. It also has the thread on the bottom and the top, depending if you're righty or lefty, that way you can screw it into your tripod, you can use it so that way you have it on your tripod and you have it nice and still to do long exposure videos, to do time lapses. So I think that's pretty cool that it has. The filters come in these nice little cases, so it comes in a plastic case, a little clamshell case that opens up. Then you get the filter in there. The filters are pretty cool the way they go on. They got two little clips, one on each side. Those little clips kind of go right into the phone. And once they go in, you push it down and it kind of just holds on in there. 
You take off the little cover that it has and you are ready to go. This is a circular polarizer. So you move that, you use that. The circular polarizer is amazing. I take car photography. So using the circular, the circular polarizer, excuse me, is awesome because that way it gets all that glare in the car window or the car paint that you don't want there. You just turn this in and it just polarizes everything just like your sunglasses and you'll be able to see everything with no glare. So I think that's really cool. It also comes with the ND filter. So this ND filter, same thing. You got the little clamshell, it comes with the cover and you have the filter. So this is really good if you're doing long exposure shots because you can go ahead and bring down the light stop between three to five stops and then go ahead and do your long exposure video um, and you'll be able to get much crisper, better colors. It's not gonna be as bright. You can shoot videos in midday light with the sun and you'll still be able to tone it down with this and be able to get really, really good video. So this kit comes with the case and everything you see here, but the cases come in different colors. So you get the Mojave, which is the color that I have here. You can get it in black and you can get it in sage, which I think it was a cool color. I should have got it in that color. This particular kit that I have here is the filmmaking kit. It goes for 149. It's a little steep, but it does come with a lot of stuff. You obviously get the case. You get the grip, not the Bluetooth button, that is separate. You get the circular polarizer and the ND filter for that 149, which is not too bad if you're someone like me. I'm someone that I like to take pictures, I do a lot of videos, I do vlogging, I do a lot of that stuff. So for me, it's definitely worth it. I really like having this be so versatile. I literally just grab my phone, grab my grip and grab my ND filter, throw it on there and I'm good to go. I don't have to carry around my big mirrorless camera. I don't have to carry around my big bag. If I'm out on vacation with the wife or doing something like that and I don't want to carry a bunch of stuff, this is it. This is my go-to right here. It's super, super easy to install. You just put it on and you're ready to go and you're, and you're there and it's, it's awesome. So for me, I think this is really cool. Do I think it's for everyone? I don't know. I think the price point is a little high. I think if they would have brought the price point down maybe at the $100 range, uh, you'd get a wider market of people. Um, but I think this is more tailored, obviously, to people who are into photography, into video, into making stuff like that. And that's what it's really tailored for, to be honest with you, because of the price point. Now, if you do want to go in and buy yourself one, I would highly recommend it. I think this is very cool to have, very nice little addition to have in your camera bag or in your pocket. That way you don't have to carry everything around. So guys, for me, eight out of 10, I'll definitely recommend this for you guys. So I really want to know what you guys think about this nice little case. Drop a comment down below. Let me know. Would you buy it? Do you think the 149 price is a little too expensive? Do you think it's priced right? Let me know. Let's get into the conversation. Let's see what you guys really think about this case. Guys, this is Manny signing out with one more review.